Dairy. Beer. Swing voting. Badgers. All might come to mind when you think of Wisconsin. But what should come to your mind are ghosts. I'm Matt Braxton, a longtime paranormal enthusiast and investigator, and with the help of the Wisconsin Haunts team, have once again traveled the state in search of things that go bump in the night. So without further ado, buckle up to see unstaged. I saw something dark go past you. Scary. What the f An insane proof oh! of the ghosts of Wisconsin. Aztalan State Park in Jefferson, Wisconsin was opened originally as Mound Park in 1912. However, the site was previously home to a native village who considered the land very sacred. After Mound Park and the rest of the massive plot of land was divided up, farmers and archaeologists destroyed many of the mounds in order to gain soil and find native artifacts. This massive disturbance could explain why the site is considered so haunted today. We understand the native history and we come with no disrespect. There are many known stories about the park, such as electronic malfunctions, visible light orbs, and a very dark feeling of dread. We actually witnessed these electronic malfunctions firsthand uh, when we tried to use the wireless lapel mics. Okay, uh, it's kind of late, but um, I just really wanted to document this, so it's about... 11, 11, <laughs> go figure. And um, so as to land, we were trying to use the wireless mics and the audio was so bad because we couldn't get them to work for the life of me. And I am, uh, here. as you can see, I'm getting some audio equipment ready for our next shoot. And I was testing these out just to see like what I could do to get them to work again. And guess what? I tested them out and they worked perfectly fine. So. One of the things that's supposed to happen at Aztalan is electronics are supposed to malfunction, and I would say that it definitely f***ing malfunctioned, so I don't know what to say. They work absolutely fine, and it's about three, four months after we filmed there, and they're absolutely fine again, so I don't know what to even think. Anyways, I'm going to go to sleep now. As you guys can tell, this place is massive and it's probably mostly going to be audio subtitles because it is insanely windy, but like check out this path. This path leads to Native American mounds and this land is sacred and you're supposed to get a sense of you're not supposed to be here and I, I can tell you I definitely felt that when I walked up here. So I'm just going to be rolling on this EMF meter to see if we get any weird spikes. EMFs, or electromagnetic frequencies, are given off by devices like cell phones. Uh, they're also said to be given off by spirits. That being said, if we don't have cell phones or any sort of device like that on us, but we do pick up EMFs, there's, there's just no explanation for it. I have no electronic equipment on me at all, so we'll see if this thing goes off at all. But yeah, wow, it is insane. So what's interesting is if we use the spirit box here tonight, we'll have to see if we actually get English words. You know, because if they're English words, then they're obviously not Native American spirits. I tested the environment, not receiving any spikes. Let's, uh, let's head up to the mound. What's weird is that you'd think, since it's a mound, you wouldn't want to walk on it, but there's an actual staircase leading up here.
I again tested the environment for EMFs, but did not receive any spikes. If any were to be captured later on in the investigation, they would be entirely unexplained. Careful, it's really muddy. We then found a clearing near the river to perform a dowsing rod session. All right, uh, X means there's a spirit. Right is yes, left is no. Are there any spirits here that would like to speak to us today? A little bit about dowsing rods. I, I think originally they were used to find water. Um, whether they use the electromagnetic energy um, to locate it, but that's sort of the premise of how we communicate with spirit. Um, you will feel them pulling to answer your question, and I think that the spirits use that same um, magnetic energy to communicate with us that they use to locate water. I feel it. Oh, I definitely feel a pull. There we go. Okay. Thank you. Are you a Native American spirit? I'll take that as a yes. Okay. This is interesting. Most Native American tribes had their own languages. So how could this spirit understand and... Well, it's like they shouldn't understand what we're saying, you know? Well, Cause... in spirit form, I, I don't think language is a barrier, really. Why would it be, you know? But it seems, I don't know, Are it seems to here? me like they're kind of just, like it's just playing with it. Yeah, if you felt it right now, there's a very strong pull. Okay, you're still with us, okay. Ann and I might have just disagreed about the legitimacy of it actually being a native spirit. However, I completely understand from other investigations the strong spirit energy she was feeling in her rods. Yeah, if you felt it right now, there's a very strong pull. Okay, you're still with us. Okay. Can you tell me if there are actual giants buried in the mound? Say that's a yes. Whoa. That's the other story about this park. Giant bones were reportedly found in similar native mounds across the state, but most notably in this area. Some people are even convinced that museum owners try to cover up the giant native skeletons, only displaying the regular size skeletal structures. Can you answer me again? Um, is, are there actually giants buried in those mounds? Yes. Yes, okay. Did you die naturally? Did you die of natural causes? Mm. No, okay. Do we need to beware of evil spirits here? Yes, okay. Can you try to light that up, please? Oh my god, there's such a pull. I can't believe that's not oh, lighting up. Oh, I can up. feel it like through the detector. Can you? Holy <laughs> yeah. That's what I was that's holding so when I got... That's so weird. Ah. It's like, yeah. I feel it it's up my arms. So oh hard. my goodness, it's pulling <laughs> all the way around. Okay. Well, I sense your presence. I'm sorry that you're having trouble with the EMF. So while Matthew and I disagreed about the being a Native American spirit, um, he felt what I felt, that energy, and it showed him. There was no doubt a strong energy present. When we come back in the evening, will you speak to us through the spirit box? Spirit because box? we would really like to talk to you. Yes, yes. thank you. Thank you very much. So 
we will definitely be back here at night. Uh, we're gonna grab some food because oh, it's been a long one. <laughs> it's like 90 degrees outside. So uh, we're gonna grab some food and then we'll be back. Hopefully we'll communicate with the same spirit, if not a couple more here. And uh, yeah, as, as Talon, this place is insane. So we're back here, it's getting to be nightfall, and uh, let's, we got more equipment, let's see what we can get. I have the ultraviolet camera and the EMF detector again. And has her digital camera, we got a bunch of night vision cameras, let's, let's see what more we can capture over here. I'm gonna start rolling on this. Is that what it's saying? Are you the same spirit we talked to before with the dowsing rods? Are you the same spirit we talked to before with the dowsing rods? Like that someone was a crying. weird noise. <laughs> like that someone was a crying. Weird noise. Is there a female here? A female spirit? What's her name? Good question. Did you hear that? Oh my gosh. What's her name? Good question. Did you hear that? Oh my gosh. I think we might, maybe we might have more luck with, uh, with the mounds. With the mounds. So we're gonna do an angel board session. We have Daniel and Taylor trying out the angel board. I'm gonna be filming, Matthias is gonna be filming, and Anne's gonna be taking digital photos. So let's see what we can get. About the angel board, you'll have a planchette. You have yes, no, you have your alphabet. It's basically like a Ouija board, but a little safer. Hello? Is there any spirits here with us? The two did not receive any communication. I then tried the angel board out for myself. Is there any spirits with us right now? I didn't get any communication either, so Anne joined Taylor. The two also failed to make contact. The angel board yielded no results. Oh, is it? Oh my god. Is that, is that my phone? Oh, it might have been my phone. Oh, right. Yeah, that was, that would have been That's cool scary. Oh, we got a voice there. When setting up the spirit box, the girls noticed the EMF meter spiking. Unfortunately, we quickly realized it was just my phone. However, right after, we do get a voice coming through the spirit box. Yeah, that was, that would have been That's cool scary. Yeah. Oh, we got a voice there. That would have been That's, cool. That's. We couldn't tell what the voice was trying to say. Could this be our first native word? Is there anybody here with us on the mound tonight? In spirit? Now the spirit box. That's probably our best piece of equipment. The spirit box is a specialized radio that rapidly switches frequencies generating white noise. Supposedly spirits are able to talk through this generated white noise, and we have gotten phenomenal evidence with this device in the past. Can you say you're sorry for pinching me or zapping me? No. no. Sometimes. 
this word is clearly saying Ojibwa. The Ojibwa tribe was known to live in this area of the nation, however one thing is strange. The Ojibwa tribe called themselves Anishinaabe, or original people. The name Ojibwa, and sometimes Chippewa, was given to the tribe by French traders. So if this was a native spirit, why would they use that word, rather than the tribe name they gave to themselves? This is another piece of evidence that Native American spirits were not the only spirits on this land. Are there giants buried here? I legit just saw something red right between you and Daniel. It's like a red... The red light Anne saw did not appear in her digital photo. However, a strange light orb did appear above Daniel in a photo taken just after. Is there anyone here that would like to speak with us? I would! What? Is there anyone here that would like to speak with us? I would! What? I would! What? Can you tell us, did you die naturally or did somebody kill you? Can you tell us, did you die naturally, or did somebody kill you? What? 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 After that, communication dropped off, so we ended the session. We then headed back to our vehicles to conduct an experiment that worked extremely well previously. So we're gonna be doing the spirit box in the car, I have it all hooked up, and let's just drive around and see what we can get. So last year we went to Graceland Cemetery and we actually hooked up the spirit box to the car radio for the first time there. And we got some terrifying results. Can you prove to us that you're here? Wow, it's creepy at night, dude. Talk so clearly before, can you do it again? If you're here, can you give us some kind of sign? I do have that feeling though you're talking about like you're not supposed to be here. Right now, yeah. But when I was up there, I felt like I belonged there. It was so weird. Yeah, but here I feel like I want to get the hell yeah, out of here. It's like I'm literally getting chills. It could loop back. I don't want to go to the other park out, man. Holy shit, I'm literally fucking like getting yeah. super chilled up. Oh my god, like tears and everything. Um, it's not just because it's freezing, but yeah, I'm getting chilled up, dude. Do you have something to say? Nice. If you're doing mean to us. Oh my god. <laughs> that is no reason to do that. Is this the interference? I don't like this, bro. Definitely feels different than we're around the mountain. Do you not like us down here? Do something. Dude. What the f that was the that was car. What the f was that? Alright, keep going. No, I gotta see what the f that was. Nothing in the trunk moved and we looked around the car for any tire malfunctions or scrapes, finding nothing. What the? What the? Yeah, what the hell was that, dude? Dude, I definitely just felt something warm on my neck. Like, dude. No, I'm not even kidding, like a breath. Just then, Daniel said he felt a breath on his neck when Matthias and I were outside. Let's rewind a bit and look at the situation from his camera. So Daniel catches this spirit box voice, the only one throughout the car ride, right after we hear a loud scrape. Dude, I definitely just felt like something warm on my neck. Like, no, I'm not even kidding, like a breath. 
and then he feels a breath on his neck? There can only be so many coincidences. I hope the cameras captured that scrape noise. That was so loud. Get me, Oh my god. The bottom of the hill, like, looked so creepy. Like, like the even... hair on my neck was yeah, standing Yeah, all of us. And, and I don't, then, I don't and believe in this I kind of like, stuff, and it felt weird. Give us a sign, and we heard this, like, huge scrape noise. So like, nothing moved in no, there? No, nothing you, moved in there. Do you see any scrapes? No, That's but, like... Weird. Yeah, like, it was a huge, like, <laughs> too. Well, wow. as Town State Park. <laughs> Damn. Aztalan State Park was quite the sight to see. Going to communicate with the spirits rumored to be at the state park, while still being respectful of the native town that used to be there, this location definitely lived up to the paranormal hype. While the rods reflected no language barrier, it could have been transient energy and maybe not a native spirit. However, almost all of the words through the spirit box were indistinct. We could not tell what any of the voices were trying to say besides Ojibwa. With the confusion of why the supposed native spirit would not refer to themselves as the name they chose, Anishinaabe led us to believe native spirits were not the only spirits on the land. Good question! However, with the strange electronic malfunctions, we were trying to use the wireless mics and the audio was so bad because we couldn't get them to work for the life of me. Ominous feeling, strange clunk when I raised my voice out of fear. What the f***? That was the that car. And many non-English sounding voices, it was clear there was a strong presence of what seemed like native spirits on the land. Aztalan State Park, while being an amazing spectacle, is definitely a location that, during nightfall, you might just want to stay away from. Welcome back to the Devil's Punch Bowl. The main legend about the Devil's Punch Bowl is that this location is home to gnomes. If you upset the gnomes, your car will not start, but you can please them by bringing them skittles. That story is obviously false. However, there are also said to be strange light anomalies and other entities frequently seen. We have previously been to the punch bowl on the show and were not let down. Okay, so this is not working for some reason. None of the buttons are doing anything. All right, well I found it, but the, the line was cut. Oh. We can just retie it. I'm sorry, Ann. <laughs> It's just, it's just like a... No! It literally looks like somebody took a scissors and cut it. I feel like I'm about to like tip over. I know, me too. Like, I feel dizzy. Is that even normal? I do too. We've been having trouble with everything. Yeah, everything's Things going just not crazy today. tonight. We are, we're like, feeling like the whole world shifting. Yeah, we're dizzy. dizzy. That's what I just felt when I walked up here, that's so weird. And I feel kind of like... Like I everything is... Like... Get out! As you saw, the place affected us all in a variety of ways. The energy was insane and we all felt very off. Furthermore, our equipment informed us that an evil entity held two human spirits prisoner at the end of the tunnel. We returned to find out why. I took notes, so let's go and see if we can capture some more stuff, because this is probably one of the most compelling places we've ever been. Water is supposed to be a paranormal superconductor, so we began a dowsing rod session next to what used to be a heavy waterfall. Okay, I didn't go over here last time, that was just you guys, right? Yeah, me and Matthias went over here. Yeah, I've never been over here, this is cool. The waterfall was a lot louder the last time. Are there any spirits here with us today? Wow. That was like instant. All right, let's both do it at the same time. Are there any spirits here with us today? Yes. 
It mine literally went before you even said it. Are you spirits that we've met before here? Mine just said yes again. Yep. Look at that. Oh my god. Point to Matthew. Mine are kind of moving around. <laughs> Look at the X. And there it went. <laughs> mine doesn't know what the to do. <laughs> point it to you. Thank you. That's awesome. You okay. Are there really gnomes here? Somebody last no, time said, said yes. No. This one said no very strongly. Oh, it's falling. Someone last time said yes. Thank you. So here are my notes that I took from the last time. How did Taylor's necklace get cut? The line was cut. It's just, oh, it's just hey, like it's a... I don't know. Happen. It literally looks like somebody took a scissors and cut it. Uh, <laughs> there's a spirit here that cut her necklace last time we were here. Can we talk to them? Got an X. And a yes. Move to my right for a yes, please. Okay, thank you. You can put them back to center. What's strange is that Anne's rods moved first, and after they were released, mine moved. It was like a spirit was moving from one set to the next. Very cool. Okay. Were you trying to be mischievous when you did that? When you cut her necklace? That one's just like not cooperating. This one's just stuck towards the water. Was Dang. there a malicious reason for doing it? Mine's just centered. Yeah, mine is too. I think they don't want to talk about it. Oh, it's moving to no. It wasn't malicious. Okay. Yeah, I kind of figured. Probably just to scare us, right? Yeah. <sighs> yeah. Are the spirits at the end of the tunnel? And are they trapped there? I got a yes. Mine's kind of wavering. Wait. It's like they do one at once. Yeah. Oh, there we go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. After getting those answers, it was time to head to the main attraction, the tunnel. There it is. I'm afraid to go it. In actually, like, according to what we got last time, there's supposed to be two spirits being trapped at the end of the tunnel, so that's so stupid. Hello? Oh my god. It's literally going in circles. Do you remember me? My right is yes, and to my left is no. We had a chat before, yeah. Are there seriously spirits trapped at the end of this bridge? Can you bring them back to center? Yes, okay, do it. Gio. I heard that like this spirit's not nice. I might have misinterpreted this response in real life. The rods, I thought, were answering yes to being able to go back to the center, but upon rewatch, it looks to actually be answering my previous question. Are there seriously spirits trapped at the end of this bridge? Yes. Then, as I say do it, the rod goes away from center, the wrong way entirely. Could this be the bad entity from last time talking to me again? Get out. Did you hear that? I didn't hear that. I heard it. We haven't gone this far before. Yeah, this is really spooky. Is there a spirit here? Please make an X if there is. You talked to us before. Do you remember it? You were talking to the necrophonic a lot. You told me to get out. Do you remember that? Do you want me to get out now? I tried the rods at the end of the tunnel where the two human spirits were supposedly imprisoned. Strangely, I got no response. Was this the bad entity's way of getting us to leave the area by not giving us evidence? I decided to cross into its territory to push the investigation a little further. We captured nothing. So are you feeling anything right now? I definitely feel kind of, ugh. Yeah. Uh, it's just like a, 
kind of a sickening energy right here. I thought it felt more calm when we were down here last time. Yeah, it different, feels different up here than it does down there. Yeah, there are obviously a lot more people here than last time, <laughs> but uh, we'll come back at night and hopefully we can get more stuff with these and our other equipment as well. So we are back at the Devil's Punch Bowl at night and we're gonna go down and see what we can get. We're back. Gnomes. <laughs> All right, I have the EMF meter lit up, ready to go. We have a whole bunch of cameras, including the ultraviolet camera, which we couldn't get to work last time. Okay, so this is not working for some reason. None of the buttons are doing anything, but it's working now. I just got a spike. If you look at my infrared camera's footage, a very long spike is captured. The ultraviolet camera would- But if you freeze frame, the EMF meter was maxed out. Which we couldn't get to work last time, but it's working now. I just got a spike. This spirit was very powerful. Furthermore, when I said- We have a whole bunch of cameras, including the ultraviolet camera, which we couldn't get to work last time, but it's working now. I was wrong. The full spectrum camera, which we used numerous times with no technical difficulties, messed up again in this location, deleting half of the files. So most of Taylor's footage was rendered non-existent. Entirely unexplainable. Do that again. You're so tough, telling us to get out last time so clear. Get out. Oh, did you see that? You're so tough, telling us to get out last time so clear. Oh, did you see that? Another spike. You wanna try the necrophonic? As I set up for the necrophonic session, our static infrared camera catches our cameraman Ed saying this. I don't want it for some reason though, I wanna keep looking behind me. Like something, like I'm getting the feeling like something's standing behind me. Ed. <laughs> First thing it said was Ed. Not only that, it said. Could this be because Ed was fresh meat to the punch bowl? Who's the spirit at the end of the tunnel? Who's the spirit at the end of the tunnel? Who's the one that told me to get out last time? Who was it? Speak clearly. Asshole. Yeah. Who was it? Speak clearly. Asshole. Yeah. We also caught another vulgarity, clear as day. Unfortunately, we had to censor part of the word, but it's very clear the entity was not happy with us being there. What's cool is that we got F*** you, Matt, on the Necrophonic, and that app is loaded with bits of words, not whole phrases, because spirits are supposed to piece phrases together from those bits. It's definitely not loaded with swear words, so that was amazing and creepy to capture. This next clip has many unexplained phrases come through. Some terrifying. Did it say Matthew? <laughs> That's what I heard. That was weird. Did it say Matthew? <laughs> That's what I heard. That was weird. Like hear that? I gotta get out of here. I feel really weird. After Anne heard something, she quickly left the tunnel. I heard something and I think it was a growl and I felt something just like a presence and it felt heavy in there. I had to get out of there. What the f I swear to God, I just saw something peek around the edge of the tunnel. After seeing what looked like a white, bald head move behind the wall of the tunnel, I captured this. Look at that. Oh! 
Oh! Are you right here? Can you touch me? It's gone. The energy was captured in a static space, and when I moved the EMF meter in and out of that spot, the energy spike moved accordingly. Then, it vanished. Very interesting. Is there anybody here that wants to talk to us? Don't be shy. Right is yes, left is no. <laughs> no. What is that? <laughs> well, that's not very nice. Is there someone nice here that would like to speak to us? X. Did you speak to us through the necrophonic? I just got a ball of light. It might have been a bug. It was indeed a bug, but listen to this weird sounding growl we captured. Did you speak to us through the necrophonic? Through the necrophonic? Through the necrophonic? Was it an animal or something else entirely? Did your voice show up on the necrophonic? Yeah? Okay. Are you the woman that soul is trapped here? Or who haunts here? Well, I guess not. No. Are you a evil entity? Like they're gonna be honest. Yes. Ooh. Well, do us a favor and do not follow us home. We don't want any spirits hitching a ride home with us. You are to stay here or wherever you're supposed to be, not with us. No. No. Did oh. you follow us home last time? Okay, that was definitive. Well, you're not welcome to follow us home this time. Well, I don't appreciate that. If you are a negative entity, you can stay right here. We are not allowing you to come with us. So we shoot these pretty much back to back. And Anne and I both had some strange stuff happen to us that we had to uh, cleanse. As she thought her stuff came from a house in Stevens Point and I thought mine came from Elk Mound Tower. But it is possible from watching this footage back that it came from the punch bowl, which is scary to think about. Was that you? Listen as clear footsteps come from the tunnel. Not only that, then this happens. Matthew, there's something moving at the end of the tunnel. What? Something just moved. Just you not, I saw black right there in the corner, right at the bottom of the thing. There's a black like little dot and it just went. Cause I saw like a white head before go around the corner. No, I saw a black, like towards the ground, towards that log. Just but it looked like a in. person's head kind of when I saw it. Is that you or an animal? Poke your head around the corner. Prove that you're here. We then capture another growl. It sounds to me like a muffled, creepy voice yelling no back to me. Poke your head around the corner. Prove that you're here. But for sake of authenticity, we will mark it as an unexplained growl, as we couldn't see any animals and we did not hear it in real life. Poke your head around the corner. Prove that you're here. I want to talk to the spirits who are trapped down here. Matthew, maybe don't come out so aggressive. Maybe that's, maybe that's why you're not getting answered. Oh! What the f***? How far back are you? You guys are that far back? I just f***ing felt something touch the back of my head. 
Like, oh, it was like a hand. Like, hold on, let me see. Oh my God, it was literally like here. Hold on, hold come on. here. Turn around. Turn around. Let's please tell me there's a cobweb. There's nothing on your neck. Cause like it felt like this. Come here. Like we don't mean you any harm. We're just here to figure out and hear your story. Yeah, there's something hanging, but that's way down there. There wasn't anything up here. Out of all the pictures we took that night, even after climbing into the supposed lair of the evil entity, we captured nothing strange on our digital cameras. We then tried another necrophonic session, as I told Anne to spray Liquid Sage, a negative energy cleanser, into the area to help free the trapped spirits, or even aggravate the evil spirit. Come on, do something. We got this voice. <laughs> You want me to leave? I do. Do you want me to leave? I do. Capturing nothing else, we figured that was the evil entity's way of getting us to leave the area. No battery set. What? Can I project batteries low? Depending on the amount we use the camera's built-in light, the battery life can fluctuate. However, it will always last a minimum of 40 minutes no matter what. The camera was only on for less than a half hour of actual filming, as a lot of time went in between investigating segments for equipment setup, battery replacing, and water breaks off camera. There was absolutely no reason for the sudden camera battery death. Whoa, look at this one. This one's a lot more than the one in my hand. Look at it. Even stranger, the static infrared camera had a lot more battery left in it than the one in my hand even though they are the exact same camera and were both fully charged and filming for the same amount of time. Normally, they would be even or close to it. Clearly, the spirits were charging up. For what? Just wait. Here it's rolling. Oh, you're standing right in front of me, aren't you? I can see that. Does it get you? Oh, no. Stay, stay, no. Yeah. Stay right there. Uh oh, and it drained the battery instantly. Battery's dead. It's. It's dead. It's flashing red. No, don't, don't, don't go. Don't go. We're just asking questions. That's all. That's all we're doing. We're just asking you some questions. Yes, 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 yes. Can you bring it all the way to the right side? What's interesting is Ed's kind approach, as opposed to my aggressive one, actually stimulated a huge response. Even when he asked it to come back, it did immediately. Ed could be communicating with the trapped woman's spirit. Oh, it's gone. And it's gone. Can I ask one more favor before we leave? Oh! oh I can take that as a yes. Right? Can you make it go red again if I, if for yes? Can you make it go red again for yes? Oh. Oh, my God. oh my God. Wow. Thank you. We then established with the spirit that a light up would be a yes in response to our questions. Are you a human spirit? Yes. Is this the woman we've been talking to all night? Yes. Yes. Do you want us to help free you? Is there anything we could do? Yes. What, do you think our sage would work? Spike it up one more time. Can you can you walk away from it for a second? Okay. Thank you. Now make it spike up again if you think sage would help us. Or help you. No. No? Are you stuck here in a loop? Or do you like this? Yes. Yes. Stuck here do in you a loop. Do you, do you like it here though? Walk away for no. Is there something forcing you to stay here? No? Did you die here? Yes. <laughs> Guys, I heard a growl. Should we should we, we should we be scared of the growl? Is it the no. evil spirit? Yeah. Ooh. Mm -hmm. We then headed out of the tunnel to Anne with one infrared camera at a full charge, the only one untouched. 
I just had an icky feeling. And like when you were coming up and I had my flash on, I saw something dark go past you. So that was our return to the Devil's Punch Bowl. It was scarier than I remember. We got a ton of evidence. Most importantly, the bad entity had nothing to do with the woman spirit that was trapped. Are you stuck here in a loop? Or do you like this? Yes. Yes. The woman had apparently died there, and she was stuck in a loop. She could have possibly died in a car accident, as according to online articles, there are remains of an old car wreck somewhere on the property. Furthermore, we caught the negative entity swearing at me. After I used an aggressive approach to call it out. While the gnome story was, again, stated to be false, there is no doubt that very strong energy exists in the Devil's Punch Bowl. Matthew, there's something moving at the end of the tunnel. What? With the site well living up to its name. Back in my hometown, Stevens Point, a woman reached out asking us to investigate her haunted home. A beautiful, museum-like Victorian home with a massive history. Built in 1899, this family purchased the home in 2018. The family requested to remain anonymous, so they will be blurred and their vocal tones will be lowered. Any personal details and names will be bleeped out. The original owner was the Ward family. The Ward family suffered great tragedies. Um, well, the Ward family, they had two children that died very tragically. One son in 1900 was duck hunting and was shot. And then their second son was actually working at the paper mill and he was crushed in one of the machines. And that was in 1909. And they also lost an infant daughter. The woman believes the wards and other families to haunt their home to this day. There was even a wake held in the front parlor. These dark details laid the perfect framework for a haunting. After learning about the history of the house, the owner showed us around. All right, lead the way. Okay, so I have a story for the staircase. I had mentioned that I felt like people watched me from the stairs and one time I had something I wanted to take up to my bedroom. So I went up the stairs, put it away, and I came back down and as I was holding onto the handrail, I had a really, like a hot spot where it was like a hand. So I'll tell you right about here is where that hand, where that hot spot was. So I thought, you know, it couldn't be from the light fixture because it doesn't give off much heat. Yeah. And the radiator does not get hot, it's warm, but not enough to make a hot spot. That's just where some of the That's almost what I thought yeah. was pushy because I, this is where I always look to. <laughs> One time we have a standing fan that we put here in front of the door. Yeah. And one night, fans blowing on me. All of a sudden, I thought to myself, I can't feel that fan. It almost felt like somebody was standing huh. in front of the fan blocking it. Oh. Yeah. Just once I was, you know, sleeping in the morning and then someone yelled at me. Some lady, it was a lady's voice, yelled at me, wake up. You know, were you up there yelling at me to wake up? She's like, no. It's like, oh my gosh. It's not yeah. yeah, it's the first time I ever had any kind of experience, you know, that unexplained, you know. Nope, I lost the battery. <laughs> really? <laughs> that happens every time. This is an electric box right here. So if this doesn't give anything off, then I don't think anything in this house will, honestly. Like, usually if you go by those, it spikes up so high. This is my oldest son's room, and in this room he has, well, he has heard footsteps in the hallway, and he also hears a girl giggle or laugh in this room. One night I was sleeping, and there was the sound um, of a little girl laughing. And at first I thought I just dreamt it, and I didn't sit up or do anything. He has also heard the crying. I have heard uh, a woman crying, too. And I'm not sure if my mom has talked about that too, but it, it sounds like a, like a, a mother's weeping for a child. And they also lost an infant daughter. One night I came up the back stairs to go to bed, and as I was walking past the store, I just got that feeling that somebody was standing right here. It's almost like, you know, when you're close to somebody, but you're not quite touching. You yeah. can feel it, you know? 
So I had that sensation as I walked by, and as I continued to walk to my bedroom, I thought, are they following me down the hallway? If there's any spirits here, can you come light up the meter? You just gotta stand next to it. This was what what was her name? Mabel. Mabel. Mm -hmm. Oh, we just got <laughs> did you see that? Mm-hmm. Okay. Mabel, can you light that up again? Neither camera captured the EMF spike, but everyone, including the owner, saw it. Oh, we just got <laughs> did you see that? Mm-hmm. Do you think her spirits here? Possibly. She was only 15 years old when she was the servant here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna scooch in here. Can you come sit in the chair? We tried to gather more evidence in Mabel's room, but captured no more spikes. So as far as the attic, we don't spend much time up there, and we haven't experienced anything up there, but I have a friend who also believes in spirits, and. She came to get a tour of the house once I bought it, and she said to me the next day at work, she said, you know that they're up in your attic. And I'm like, who's up in my attic? And she goes, well, your spirits, that's where they hang out. So, <laughs> that's what she told me. <laughs> the spookiest part, of course, yeah. <laughs> Nothing bad. Nothing, Nothing bad. bad. Nothing ever bad. bad. There's a spirit present, cross, make an X, yes is to the right, no is to the left. If there's any, any spirits here that would like to speak to us? Yes. Are you Mr. Ward? Right is yes, left is no. Am I allowed to ask questions? Yeah. Sure. Okay. Is it a member of the Macnish family? A member of the Burdan family? <laughs> is it trying to pull it? It's it's make it keeps it's pulling an X because they're both pulling in opposite directions. Are you Mabel? What at first appeared to be a bust quickly changed with the next question. Are you a member of my family? Yes. These are your questions now. <laughs> are you my dad? feel his energy, like running from the top of my head down out my toes. He's here. You watching over? <laughs> yeah. Do you try and communicate with her often? Yeah. 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 No. Has she noticed you? Oh boy. <laughs> That's kind of... That's weird. Can you point to her? No. <laughs> so I haven't noticed? Maybe you've noticed the other spirits and not him. Okay. Can you light up the EMF meter? Okay. You can use battery energy if you need to, or our energy, whatever you need to communicate. Oh! It lit up. Thank you. Thank you. Whatever you need to communicate. Oh, it lit up. thank you. Thank you. Could you please light up the EMF meter again? Yes, you can. Okay. Could I please do it. Please light it up. Use our energy or the batteries, whatever it is you need to light that up. That's what I was holding when I got zapped at the basement of the cottage. Yeah, and it would light up every time. <laughs> oh, <wow>. oh. <laughs> when Anne mentioned the meter lighting up at the cottage cafe in Plover. Oh, oh. something got me in the arm. Really? It was like a stow. Oh, that's not nice. It's like it spiked bit. all the way up to red when it did it, that. It was like electric shock. It lit up again. 
That's what I was holding when I got zapped at the basement of the cottage. Yeah, and it would light up every time. Uh -oh. Oh. <laughs> Can you poke one of us right now? Okay. <laughs> Poked you with the... <laughs> Literally. Okay. Was your dad a little bit of a jokester? Oh, yes. Okay. Yes, yes, he was. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Everybody loved my dad. <laughs> there was definitely a very strong emotional connection, and I could literally feel the energy um, from his spirit, like going through my head and coming out through my toes and my fingers. And um, when I was using the dowsing rods, it was uh, really amazing. So you're very active. Are you going to be even more active tonight for us? Yeah. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Do you like what we're doing to the house? Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that was like forcing against the handle, pushing. I could feel it. Yeah, they do. That one I wanted to know because that always bothers me. <laughs> <laughs> I want to make sure that they approve. Can you, like? Dream spirits, does that make yes. sense? You can. Definitely. Yeah. <laughs> so now I have a good story to tell you. Buying this house, I, um, of course, I looked at it and I fell in love with it. And I wrote an offer on it, but I had a contingency to sell my house. So in that six months time, I was, was worried I was gonna lose this house. But I kept having this reoccurring dream where there was a gentleman in the basement watching me do laundry. And in my dream, he had slacks on, a white shirt, and overalls. And I was researching Mr. Ward, and I found a picture of him, and he was the man in my dream. Oh, wow. Slacks, white shirt, and overalls. I saw the picture, and I brought full four. In the dream, there was a girl at the end of the hallway in a more of an Edwardian dress. She was probably about eight years old, and my son here is laughing down by his room. We then visited the St. Stephen Cemetery to pay our respects to the Ward family. We hope to come into friendly contact with their spirits at night, and if not, we hope they would rest peacefully. So we have this entire house to ourselves. Full range, everything. I have some sweet grass right here. This is supposed to attract positive spirits, not negative ones. Um, they said that we could burn this, sage, whatever we wanted in the house. So how far did you want us to go? Did you want us to provoke them or? Cause that usually, well that doesn't really make the good spirits angry. Usually right. it just brings out the bad more. Okay. But we can sage whatever you want us to do. Because oh. that gets rid of the bad, sure. if there's any, and it keeps all the good. So. Okay, yeah, I, that's fine. Let's uh, light this and attract some spirits. Hopefully they don't have really strong smoke alarms. You can definitely smell it. All right, we'd like to communicate with all the nice, kind spirits that are here. Hopefully this will give you guys some energy to communicate with us. We walked around the house burning the sweet grass, hoping to attract friendly entities. Okay. Be careful. Are there any spirits that would like to communicate with us? Burning some sweet grass, hopefully this gives you some energy. We then headed up to the second floor, hoping to come in contact with whatever Anne felt previously. Are there any spirits here? Those mannequins freak me out. <laughs> Any spirits that would like to communicate with us? 
trying to give you some energy, draw you in. Is that the bench? Yeah. I continued to burn the sweet grass in the master bedroom, asking the spirits to light up the EMF detector. We captured no evidence. We're gonna do a session in the attic. Do you want to? Yeah. All right, let's go up. And you wanna grab the rods? Yeah, that'd be a cool place to do it. We'll do a session. There we go. Well, it should be cooler up there. Oh, did you see that? Did you get that on camera? I don't know. I wasn't really looking. What was it? Can you light it up again? I went to the two. It's not super high, but... Just then, I got a spike on the EMF meter. Well, oh, it should be cooler up there. Oh! Did you see that? Did you get that on camera? I don't know. I wasn't really looking. What was it? The camera didn't pick it up, but just wait. Can you light that up for me again, please? Oh! Ooh, 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 I should've got that. All right. I should've got that. Can you light that up for me again, please? Oh! Ooh, 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 I should've got that. All right. I should've got that. Can you light that up for me again? The window open. The window's not open up in the hall upstairs. Mm -hmm. The EMF sensor went off right where that cold spot was. That was strong. Just like for a second. Yeah. Huh. We then headed up to the attic. I just saw something. What? I don't know. Somebody else go for it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not afraid. I'm not scared because I know they're not bad, but are there any spirits up here? Would you guys like to hang around up here? Oh, this floorboard is like sinking in. Don't stand there. Stand? Oh, it just lit up. It just lit up. Get that camera over here. We captured three strong spikes in that area. So we sat down nearby and began a dowsing rod session. Okay. Are there spirits here that would like to talk to us today? X signifies spirit. Right is yes. Yes. Oh, oh. we got an X. Oh, thank you. Is the sweet grass bringing you into us? Is it helping attract you to us to talk? Yes. Yep. All right. Thank you. Not only did we get an answer, but we caught a strange light anomaly on camera. Is it helping attract you to us to talk? Us to talk. Us to talk. If this was dust, it would have entered one side of the frame and exited another. This disappears into me. Very creepy. It's only attracting good spirits, correct? It's sort of kind of going. Hmm. Oh, it just said no. Huh. Well, sweet grass is supposed to only attract positive spirits or positive energy. Are so we bringing something negative with us? Are we bringing negative spirits with us? Yeah, I heard that too. Taylor and I both hear a tapping sound behind us. It could have been the house settling, but it was loud enough to get her to pan the full spectrum camera around. Are we bringing negative spirits with us? Yeah, I heard that too. No, okay, we didn't bring it in. Okay, thank you. Is, is dad here with us now? Make an X if it's you. Oh my gosh, thank you. We're so glad to talk to you again. Can you light up the EMF meter? It's laying on the floor there, yes, okay. Please do. Please do. We've got batteries here. We've got our own energy if you need it. We know you can do it. You did it for us earlier today. Whatever you need to communicate. Oh, it lit up. thank you. Thank you. Could you light it up again? We let the meter sit, but saw no spike. Was the movement of the rods human error, or were we really again talking to the woman's father? I felt the energy and emotional connection in the attic. I feel this is the same as it was downstairs. So should we do this in a different room? 
Yes, okay. Is it hard for you to light this up in the attic? We again caught a light anomaly. Watch this camera angle closely. So should we do this in a different room? Yes, okay. Is it hard for you to light this up in the attic? So should we do this in a different room? Yes, okay. Is yes, okay. We're going to visit another place in the house. Thank you for, for helping us. If you guys want to follow us around the house and communicate, we would appreciate it. Mabel, can you show up in my picture? If you're here. Like an, an orb, or maybe, it, or maybe it was like a, like dust or something. Well, I asked it if it was here, if it would show up in the picture. Oh, look, little spot for it. The orb Taylor captured on camera could have been dust. Oh, I saw like an, an orb. As other dust was spotted throughout the night. However, this orb strobed. Very strange. Please replace the batteries. I just put new ones in really? today when we were here earlier. We then began a spirit box session. There we go. Mabel, we're in your room. Are you here with us? We can hear you talking. Just come over and speak to us. Just then, Anne captures a strange photo. It is utterly insane. We were completely static, so it could not have been dust, and everything was in focus, so there would be no reason for the camera to create a motion blur. Also, notice this blue dot in the center. A blue tinted orb could mean the presence of a kind or serene spirit. Could this captured orb and weird mist be Mabel, the little girl spirit, or the woman's father trying to drain my energy to communicate? I'm cold. As Taylor says she feels cold, while Matthias says he feels hot, a voice comes through the spirit box saying, Hey, I'm cold over here. could Taylor be feeling a spirit enter the room through the doorway right behind her? I'm cold over here. This is cool. We just captured two spirits having a conversation. And when Anne hears it and responds, a spirit responds to her as well. Okay. Is Michael here? Ward? Is Michael here? Ward? He's here. Oh. I heard a little voice say, I'm here. 
Oh, I heard a little cool. voice say, I'm here. Who's the little girl? What's her name? Who's the little girl? What's her name? Taylor, what do you feel? You keep looking around. I don't know. I get, I get nervous. Like something's right over Out there. Like behind you or in the hall? Yeah, or like right here. I keep thinking there's going to be something over okay, there. Okay, well I'm going to walk past the camera All carefully. Right. And I'm going to check out the hall. Anne goes up to the hall to snap some pictures. Not capturing anything. Yet. Do you want to tell us something? Tell us something? I hear something in the hall. Oh. As Anne goes out to the hallway again, listen to a male spirit tell her that her camera battery is dead. I swear I just saw something zoom. Indeed she did. This orb was visible to Anne's eyes and she captured it on camera after hearing scuffling in the hall. A lot of activity happened in the hall, like the orb, the EMF spike, and the cold spots. You know, it would kind of make sense for the upstairs hallway to have so much paranormal activity as it's sort of like a main hub of the upstairs. Can you do something? Hey. Okay. Hey. Can you do something? Hey. Hey. Will you please tell me the name of the little girl who, who's laughing? Will you please tell me the name of the little girl who, who's laughing? Do you know what room we're in right now? Whose room did this used to be when the Ward family owned this house? <laughs> Whose room did this used to be when the Ward family owned this house? Whose room did this used to be? Where are you, Matthias? I'm right by the camera. I keep feeling like somebody's right here. You guys are all the way down there? Yeah. The ward house was full of paranormal activity. We captured much activity in Mabel's room, hearing a little girl frequently. Will you please tell me the name of the little girl who's laughing? Will you please tell me the name of the little girl who's laughing? There was the sound of a little girl laughing. Many light anomalies were also captured and batteries died left and right. Nope, oh, there was the batteries. <laughs> really? <laughs> That happens every time. Please replace the batteries. I just put new ones in really? today when we were here earlier. The woman was also luckily able to communicate with her deceased father, who said he watches over her. Are you my dad? He passed away two years ago. I'm sorry. I can, I can feel his energy, like running from the top of my head down out my toes. He's here. Watching over her? <laughs> we hope our time and equipment could help bring her more closure in regards to him. His father here. And more knowledge of the other energy in her home. Welcome to Forest Hill Cemetery. Forest Hill Cemetery in Wisconsin Rapids is a massive plot of land home to over 12,000 graves. Reportedly, visitors can hear their names being called out. Some have seen full-bodied apparitions and can hear infants crying in the baby section. This sad yet chilling baby section would be the first place we began investigating. All right, so we're in the baby section and this is supposed to be 
the most haunted area in the cemetery. All right, so Anne's taking digital images right now. I'm gonna give Matthias the EMF detector. Are there any spirits here? Can you come up to Matthias and light up the meter? So this is a different type of investigation. Instead of doing a daytime portion and a nighttime portion, we're just gonna stay here until dark. And then a little after dark. All right, I'm gonna do an EVP session. So if you're walking, make sure you say. Okay, rolling. Are there any spirits here with us? How did you die? We listened back to the EVP recorder, not capturing any voices. All right, I don't think we got anything there. Did you get anything on that yet? No. No? Should we try a dowsing rod session? Sure. Spirit's present, okay, thank you. Do you want to speak with us? Well, let's, yeah, at least one went. Hang on a second. Yeah, well, the bugs <laughs> are up. just horrible. Beat but... up and eat up, okay. Thank you for answering us. After trying the dowsing rods for a long while, we didn't capture anything. Got nothing. We decided to try our luck in a different area of the cemetery. <laughs> That's kind of weird. Is that actual brick? Yeah. They walled it off. <laughs> we found ourselves at a massive mausoleum with an interesting legend. Well, apparently it causes electronics and mechanical things to fail. So we'll see. We tried communicating with the dowsing rods, EMF detector, and EVP recorder again, receiving nothing. It's really weird, isn't it? Yeah, it's just not. It's a little cross and it won't do anything. Yeah. What seemed to be a bust was soon to turn around. Majorly. Can you light up this meter? Oh! That was like instant. Can you light that up again, please? Oh! See that? Did you see that? Nobody could ask for better evidence. Can you light up this meter? Oh! Light up this meter. Oh! That was like instant. Can you light that up again, please? See that? Did you see that? Can you light that up again, please? Oh. Look at that. Okay. You saw us react to you. Can you do it one more time, please? Use our, use our energy. There we go. Thank you. A spirit, just like the devil's punch bowl, responds on command with the EMF detector. Can I ask one more favor? Before we leave? Oh! And the communication was far from over. I'm already getting an X. Before yeah. I even said anything. I don't know why I'm thinking it's a he for some reason, but. Can you point to Matthias? No. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least you're honest, right? Are you buried nearby? Yeah, well, that's a definitive yes. Okay. Oh, it kind of pointed to... Thank you for bringing it to center. Can you tell me, is your last name Barker? Right is yes, left is no. Is your last name Barker? I'm feeling a pull to the left, but... Well, now he's saying yes. Okay. Did you say that your last name was Baker? No. Okay. Barker. Barker, I said. <laughs> they called me on it. Thank you. Uh, did you say your last name was Barker? Saying yes again. Okay. Are you Miles? Is your name Miles? I will take that as a yes. Thank you. After seeing a specific name mentioned through the rods, uh, I decided to test it. See, Anne had not seen any of the graves around her when she came over. She just was ready with the rods. So I decided to test it by asking her questions that she would have no way to know the answer to. So you're a veteran. X. Did okay. you fight in World War One? No. No. 
World War II. Can you bring them back to center? Okay, come, I'm gonna try that again. Did you fight in World War II? Yes. And just like that, without knowing, Anne got the correct answer. For respect for the family, we will not show the gravestone, but here is the engraving to prove we were indeed communicating with the dead. And then the sun fell. Okay, so we are in the cemetery. We're gonna drive past that grave we were talking to miles before. I have the spirit box hooked up to my car and we're gonna roll the windows down and hopefully we get some voices. Miles, we can hear your voice through this. Can you talk to us? Something. Listen closely, as right after the music sound from a radio station is somehow picked up, a male voice quietly says, Hey there. Ooh, that was something. Ooh, that was something. Could that be Miles? Miles, can you talk to us? Are you still around? Can you come talk to us? Ooh, that was something. Yeah. That was something. Yeah. That was something. Yeah. What was that? Oh. The last spirit voice, after I drove over a pothole in the road, said, We did it. But what exactly did it do? What's that? That was a kid's voice. In that short section, we captured three voices. What's that? What's that? That was a kid's voice. That was a kid's voice. Come and talk with us. Yeah, I saw it twice. What, what's her name? Like twice. Twice. The so-called spirit in the picture Anne and I were talking about when we captured those voices, we later debunked as a statue being lit up. However, the voices still stand. Can you come up right next to the camera? Stand right next to it. Yes? 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 Right on cue, I capture an orb. Could this be moisture in the air, or a spirit? Anne also captures a strange picture shortly after. The only explanation for this weird shape could be a bug, but it didn't show up in the picture taken no more than a second later. with the tripod. <laughs> oh my god, you scared the <laughs> out of me. <laughs> Alright, so I have this bear. Right now we're going to put the EMF detector next to it. And we're going to see if any child spirits come up next to it and the cameras will capture that. I set up the bear with an EMF detector, put a camera on it, and we got to work. Alright, you mean no harm. <laughs> Is that a get out? Is that a get out? Is that a get out? What the hell was that? 
We then capture some of the best spirit box evidence we have ever gotten. The only question is, who is the her they refer to? What the hell was that? What's cool about this is that a, ch a child's voice comes through the spirit box and it lasts for so many sweeps talking about the same thing that it would be literally statistically impossible for it to be radio. And even funnier, the child kind of laughs at me afterwards since I made kind of a stupid face. It's just crazy. A message from us from the afterlife. Oh, that was a kid's voice. After picking up the spirit box and moving it next to the bear, we captured more startling evidence. Oh, that was a kid's voice. Oh, that was a kid's voice. Can you go by the teddy bear right there? Light that up for us, please. Could this voice be trying to get us to go further into the cemetery to get more evidence? Who's the male voice in that from before? Listen, as a conversation is captured between a male and female talking over me. Who's the male voice in that from before? Can you come and light this meter up right here? Can you by the teddy bear, please? That voice clearly says lake. Could it be referring to the nearby pond? And does that pond help fuel the spirit's energy? Where are you right now? God. Where are you right now? God. God. If you're with God, then how are you still here talking to us? If you're with God, then how are you still here talking to us? We'd like some solid proof that you're here with us. We'd like some solid proof that you're here with us. This spirit voice told me, essentially, that we already had enough evidence. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Alright, let's close up shop. After capturing a good amount of evidence for the day, we decided to head on to the next location. I have lived in Madison my whole life, and my grandmother worked at the tuberculosis hospital here. And she was one of the nurses that took care of all of the patients. Lakeview Sanitarium, later known as Sanatorium Hill, was a tuberculosis hospital in effect from 1930 to 1966. They actually let tuberculosis patients out to walk around the grounds and everything because the cure for tuberculosis was fresh air. Fresh air. <laughs> exactly. Because there was no real cure for tuberculosis at the time, Many patients died on the property. There was also a hog farm located in the woods. Hogs were slaughtered to provide cheap meat for patients at the hospital. Their bones can still be found littered on the ground today. Yeah, I usually uh, take a souvenir from the places we go. Uh, I've taken like little plate pieces that were on the ground, uh, usually rocks, but I actually took a hog bone from Sanatorium Hill. It's right over there. During the winter time, this is a really big sledding place because it's a huge hill. Back in like the early 70s, one child went sledding and actually ran into the road and died. The property was considered sacred and spiritually powerful by natives because of its height. Not to mention, there's a church and a cemetery on the property. 
We played the Ouija board in front of it because we wanted to talk to spirits and see what they would say. The weirdest thing that happened was they spelled out my grandmother's name. With all of the death, including patients and animals and spiritual significance of the cemetery, church, and native connection, there is no wonder Sanatorium Hill is considered haunted. I guess we'll just walk until we get anything. Oh, what? I saw a spike in real life, but since the lights were too dim to be picked up and proved on the camera, we can't count it as evidence. Can you come light this up? It's hard to see it. We didn't capture any more spikes in the area. Where exactly did you see that face? It's like right over here. We weren't even halfway up the path. I think we were honestly like right here. It was like, I was here, one of my friends were here, two of my friends were here. And like, I was standing here, I felt somewhere behind me. I turned and it was like right in front of my face. Mm. And honestly, I'm not gonna lie, when I just did that, I thought it was gonna be yeah. there again. <laughs> and it was a black figure with teeth and everything and it growled at me. Gosh, my anxiety just jumped up yeah. a lot. Ooh, I don't like that. It's like as soon as I was telling that story, my heart rate just started going up. Mine up, too. Up. <sighs> I was kind of expecting this to start spiking or something. No spikes, but... It definitely feels really weird I right just here. got like a really eerie feeling that there was somebody standing like right up over there. I literally looked up there too. Yeah, like okay. we both looked yeah. up at the same time right up there. You wanna... let's go up. Let's go up there, see what happens. Is there somebody here? We've come to talk with you. Can you come light this up? After feeling a presence at the end of the path, we stopped to try to gather evidence. Can you come and light up the meter? Give us a sign that you're here. My heart rate's like really high right now. Do you want to give me the camera and you can try the dowsing around? Sure. Is there spirit here that would like to communicate with us? Okay, well, that went real, thank you. Can you make the meter light up? Oh, it's off. There we go. Oh, whoa! Thank you. And just like that, the meter lit up. Let's see, um, are you a female spirit? Right is yes, left is no. It's fighting the wind. Yeah. Yeah, what way is the, the wind's blowing like this? Yeah. So it's... Or as you can see where the flag is blowing, it's going that <laughs> way. So it's definitely fighting it. Is your name John? Yeah, I wonder, because we're right by his. John Michael. Having gotten such a cool response attempting to figure out who the spirit was at Forest Hill Cemetery. Did you fight in World War II? Yes. Yeah, yes. Yeah. We decided to try the same route at this location. Is your name John? No. Okay, thank you. Who else? Ask if it's Mac. Is your name Mac? That one's going to no, and this one's going to yes, so I don't know. <laughs> no clear response. Can you tell us, is there an evil entity in this area that we should be aware of? Yes. Is it a person that died? Not a demon, that's okay. good. Are there native spirits on this land? Great to you. Yeah. Yes, thank you. Are they good spirits? Yeah. 
yes. Okay. okay. Thank you. All right. Well, I think we got some good stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you for communicating with us. I hope you have a nice rest. That was nice of him to communicate. Mm -hmm. When the sun fell behind the creepy trees of Sanatorium Hill, we returned to begin the nighttime portion of our investigation. Okay, we are at Sanatorium Hill. We are in the cemetery and we're going to start out with an angel board right where she saw the shadow figure. We tried the angel board, receiving no responses. That prompted me to try the dowsing rods, receiving nothing as well. It's just like stuck. It was then time to try more fluent methods of communication. So now we are going to do the EVP recorder and the necrophonic in the haunted woods. Okay, it's going. Are there any spirits here? Can you come talking to this light? Okay. We listened back to the EVP session, capturing no voices. Okay. Nothing on there. All right, you want to do the necrophonic, man? Is there anyone here that wants to talk to us? What's your name? Could this be the spirit of a child looking for its mother? What's your name? Can you please tell us your name? We then got the name David. Was this a patient at the hospital? Can you please tell us your name? David. What do you want to tell us? Then a spirit talks over Anne, saying the word murder. What do you want to tell us? What do you want to tell us? That's spooky for an app that only spits out parts of words. I thought I saw something. Like, I literally, like, swear to God, not even joking, like, right here, I thought I saw, like, a face. Like, right there. What's your name? We then got David's name again. That makes three times. Right when we all felt like we were seeing things moving around us, we captured this creepy voice. Alright, hopefully we got something in that. How do you feel? Um, scared. Yeah? It was a little unnerving. I got some chills. Yeah, I don't want to ever go back in there. <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> okay, so now what we are going to do is run the spirit box out of the car. I have all the doors opened up. And let's see what we can get. Did we talk to the bad spirit in the woods? Maybe. Did we talk to the bad spirit in the woods? Maybe. Maybe. Do you have any questions? Right as I asked Gracie if she had any questions to ask, a spirit took it upon itself to ask us a question. Do you have any questions? You're in trouble. Did you hear that? You're in trouble. Not getting anything after that creepy voice, we decided to close the session out. Do you have any final things to say to us before we leave? Say bye. Goodbye. Say bye. Say bye. Goodbye. It's weird that the voices kind of stopped when they said bye. Yeah. Like, yeah. And then the you're in trouble. That was that was perfect. so clear. That was clear as day. We all took a spritz of liquid sage to help protect us from a possible negative attachment, 
and then our team began the long drive home. This trip around Wisconsin gave us even more insight into the world of the paranormal. Aztalan State Park was for sure haunted, complete with a nasty, unwelcome vibe and one of the craziest pieces of evidence we have ever gotten. What the f***? That was the that was car. car. So like, nothing moved in there? No, yours? nothing moved in there. Do you see any screams? No. Menominee's Devil's Punch Bowl did not hold anything back. We got plenty of foul language from negative entities, <laughs> and even spoke with a spirit trapped in a loop. Are you stuck here in a loop? Or do you like this? Yes. Yes. That visit marked the second time we went to the location and was just as, if not more, eventful than before. The Ward House in Stevens Point was a house I've unknowingly driven by many times as a kid. Little did I think, years later, I would be investigating it. We witnessed many strange occurrences on camera and hopefully gave the owner some inner peace about her beautiful, museum-like home and the spirits within. Close by, Forest Hill Cemetery in Wisconsin Rapids was not nearly as eventful as the other places, yet yielded a very cool response during the daytime. Did you fight in World War II? Yes. Yeah, yes. Which is not a very common occurrence. The legend of the babies crying also held true thanks to our spirit box. What the hell was that? And finally, Sanatorium Hill. This massive area held so many paranormal possibilities, with the church, cemetery, and so much death. Surprisingly, while we did catch some spooky activity, the energy seemed very standoffish, until, however, we entered the woods, which felt very claustrophobic, as if they were closing in on us. We were not welcome. You're in trouble. All in all, our captures at these scary locations prove the paranormal is very much real, and you'd maybe want to sleep with a nightlight on, or you might just run into one of the ghosts of Wisconsin.